Here with Olivia Chang, star of Marco Polo. Can you... Oh, look at that. Man, I wish I had one of those in my room. I guess you could take this home no, if you well, know, if you talk to people. Well, tell me a little bit more about the show. Oh, uh, the show centers around Marco Polo. Um, it, it, it's like this family drama, but just set 800 years ago. Your character is a royal concubine, a royal consort. Were there ever any qualms about that? Uh, you mean in, in terms of taking the role? Right. Yeah, you know, listen, I have conservative Chinese parents. Um, you should have heard the silence when I explained to them, you know, the nature of this role. Um, but I was so drawn to her. You know, she's such a kick-ass character. She's so tenacious. She's got such incredible strength. And I feel like this is the kind of role and the kind of opportunity that every artist dreams of, of getting a chance to take a crack at. I read that in your bio about, you know, your parents, like, you know, and the whole acting thing. So what was it like? Have they seen Marco Polo? Like, have they seen any of the clips yet? And what have they said? I think they may have seen a trailer. I haven't had a comment yet. But they're supporting me um, for the red carpet premiere by actually watching my niece and nephew so my brother and sister-in-law can come down. You know, the interesting thing about Mei Lin, I feel like, is, you know, she has this concubine role, but at the same time, she's almost like a role model, you know, a very strong woman. So is that how you define her as well? In, in terms of who she's going to be like to the yeah. audiences? Like she's kind of like a hero, you know, like I haven't really seen a hero concubine before. Yeah, you know, I feel like there's no character that can be compared to Mei Lin that's ever been done in, in North American television, maybe just in television in general. Um, I really do think audiences will resonate with her strength um, that's exhibited through such incredibly vulnerable circumstances. What is it about this show? Like, I know that it has so many different themes, power, sex, betrayal, you know, I could go on and on. Is there anything that really stands out to you? Like, if you had to define it as, like, one theme, can you? Or is it just a multitude of everything? I think there's a multitude of everything, but I think what's going to be really amazing is there are going to be themes and relationships that are so topical and relatable to contemporary times. It's just set in this incredible world that we've never had a chance to explore on television. The whole relationship between Malin and her brother is fascinating to me. Like, on the one hand, you know, I feel like, yeah, they're bonded by blood, but he treats her so badly. Do you think that there's any part of, you know, him that likes Malin? Because I just feel like he's just torturing her. He's, like, breaking her, her kid's, like, leg. I'm like, what is going on? Right. I think by the time you get to hour seven, you'll get a little more insight into the psychology and circumstances that have shaped Jassy Dao and Malin. What is the whole concept of family on the show? I mean, I feel like there's the surrogate father relationship between Kublai and Marco, the whole relationship between you and your brother's character. Why is the concept of family so empowering and drawing, and why will people resonate with this when they watch the show? Everyone's got a dysfunctional family. This is a dysfunctional Machiavellian family and I think there are themes that people will relate to, the father-son dynamic, there's the brother-sister, there's the mother-daughter. I think everybody knows what it's like to fight for family, to want to fight your family. And it, again, it's, it's something so relatable just at 800 years ago. I, I really like, you know, at the first time I saw Maylin, I was just like, oh, look, she's just taking all this crap. She's doing whatever. He, and then I got to hour six and you had that crazy action sequence. So is she a character that we're going to love as the series goes on or is it right away? I, I think everyone might have a different reaction. Um, I think she's a very compelling character to watch, regardless of whether or not you like her, hate her, love her. I think you're going to understand what drives her. And I think that's what's going to make her so watchable. You know, I got to say that, like, if I was a girl on a show like Marco Polo, you get to do everything I'd want to do. You have these, like, crazy scenes. You have, like, magic powers. You get to, like, throw it. Like, I mean, what else is there? You have, like, every every character role in that one character. We can we can cast you as an Imperial concubine if we go to... No, see no, 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 no. Mercs, you can well, do, do it. Do I have magic powers? That That's a big sell point. We can pull Patrick McManus back here, and okay. we can talk about, you know, working that in for you. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Why do you think people should watch this show? I think people should watch the show because it's a really freaking great show and there's nothing like it on television right now. And, and you know, one thing before I let you go that I really like is the attention to detail. You know, like I, what I loved is how they present the Kublai and the Khan people with like gold outfits and like very majestic. But then when we get to the songs, it's detail, soft colors. How great was that? Like just the attention of the details that John Fusco and everybody put into the show. 
The attention to detail and the reverence for Chinese history and culture was absolutely incredible. Um, it, it, it felt it, it felt so respectful of what we were trying to do, and yeah, we have you know Tim Yip, Oscar award winning costume designer Lily Kilvert, who um, has been nominated twice um, for Academy Awards for production design. So there was so much incredible talent from people from twenty seven nations around the world mm -hmm. contributing to this. Um, no detail was was too great, and I, I feel like there's going to be such a visual feast for people that you can keep re-watching it and seeing details in the sets and the costumes mm -hmm. over and over again. Well, you know, Olivia, I, I got to say, when I was watching it, I'm like, man, she has some like great action moves, all these like karate moves. So I was hoping you could teach me a quick little move that I can like take back with me. Do you think we can do that? I, I think we can do this. Okay, I'm not very, I dropped gym in the 10th grade, so I'm not very athletically inclined. If you, actually, this is perfect, because if you think you can do a stunt fall, I think we can do this. Okay, I like that. All right, so we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to do a move on Mercs that was done in the Hour 6 White Moon fight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clock you across the chest. Okay, not for real, though. Not for okay. real, but we're going to sell it like it really hurts, and that it, the impact, like, sends you back into the chair. Okay, I got right? it. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, should I take my glasses off? Uh, it, it, maybe it couldn't hurt. Okay. okay. You know, maybe okay. you're yeah, really uh, Authenticity. Yeah. Okay, now I can't really see, so this might be for you real. You can make them fly off your face during the hit. I'm no, not... come on. You know, I'm not Brad Pitt. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> wait. How was that? How was that? I feel like it was a little over. Let, let's do it one, one more time. time. Okay. One okay. more time. Okay. Wait. I'll, I'll, let me get my zen. Okay. 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 Ready. Feel the pain. Yes. How was it? You have a very, like, a gas look on your face. <laughs> what? Okay. Olivia, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks so much, Brooks. <laughs> I'm Olivia Chang. Stay tuned for an exclusive scene from Marco Polo. Stop. Uh. Oh. Oh. 